Hey guys, on today's video, I'm going to take a look at Dropbox. Let's get started. Go right into Safari. In Safari, once that pulls up, just type in Dropbox. Once you type in Dropbox, you should be seeing this. Usually, I tell you never to go into the very first thing that it tells you because it could just be an ad, but in this case, it is Dropbox.com. So let's just go right in there. And what we need to do is download Dropbox for your Mac. So we're just going to log in or sign up. It doesn't matter. You guys can even get the app. So actually this video is about that so we're going to go on and desktop app we are going to click on download now you should automatically know that we are on mac and we can go right here we can see dropbox installer and that's it we can double click on the icon then open and it's gonna install dropbox for us so it does automatically know if you're on mac or on pc so that's why it gave us the correct file or else a pc file we're not going to be able to install that on mac it's just going to be a dot exe file which means absolutely nothing. So once this is installed, see this right here, the Dropbox installer or any installer for that matter, you do have to eject it right after, but we're gonna do that right at the end. Right now, all we have to do is just go into our finder. So that's down here below, just pull that up finder. Then applications should be your fourth option and just look for Dropbox. Here's Dropbox, so we'll click on it to open it up and here we go. So there's a few things that we have to set up. So for now, we're gonna turn on accessibility. We're gonna make sure Dropbox turned on, use our password, there we go. And then we just have to sign in. So let me just put this away. So again, make sure that you turn this on. So that way Dropbox has some stuff right here on your Mac. And welcome to Dropbox. All we have to do is just sign in with Dropbox. It's gonna take us over here and we can continue with Google, Apple, or just your email. So go ahead and sign in. Once you sign in, just click on allow and you're gonna get an ad like this. Of course, they always want you to do this. Unless you guys already have the plus, then you're not gonna get this message. So we're just gonna sign out of some devices. In this case, it's my old iMac. We're gonna sign out, sign out, and that's it. Continue installation. So Dropbox should give you these messages right now. Just going to next. Do not click on upgrade unless you want to. We're gonna go to keep basic plan because that's free for us. Open Dropbox and we are done. Right now on your finder that should have opened up by itself, you should see favorites and there's your Dropbox. So everything that you has had on your Dropbox should be right here and that's all loading up in your Dropbox. Unless it's empty, then you won't see anything. Other than that, you should see something like this and you can always just click on open Dropbox. Then click on allow and you're pretty much done. So right now, if you guys see these alerts on the site, this is good. So you can go into your options and see what's going on. So go into the settings and all you have to make sure is logging items. That Dropbox right here is turned on. Other than that, that's it. That's all we had to do. There's also Dropbox up here that you guys might notice. So that will give you some activity and some stuff about your Dropbox. So you guys can access your files a little bit faster, sync stuff and so on. But anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.